everyone welcome back thank you so much for tuning into my channel so today what i have for you is just a little mini haul from creative beauty i did pick up a few items that um i did need for myself personally and something that i did see in a video by talia's nail tales you should really check her out she's so amazing at what she does if you'd like to see more in regards to what i purchased keep watching and stay tuned. The first item that I am going to be sharing with you is this sterilizer tray and it does come with a drain basket and this is by N American Nails and I did pick this up from Creative Beauty as I stated at the beginning of my video. I needed one of these because I was actually using something different and I didn't like how it was working. So I figured I saw it. I think I got it on sale. Honestly, I cannot remember. Don't quote me on that, but I actually can't remember. And I figured that this would just be the perfect size for what I need. So as you can see, when you do open the package, it does come in a plastic wrap. So you all you have to do is just, you know, obviously take it out because then... You can't use it if you don't take it out. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead here and open this for you guys so that we can see inside. So as you can see, it does have two snaps at the side, which helps to keep it open. The middle tray does um, come out, so you can take it out to clean it and clean the bottom as well. It is a plastic tray or sterilizing tray I should say but it still does feel really good to me it does have a good weight to it but it's not like super heavy and I'm just gonna go in for example and show you like different implements you can put in I did not have my um, e file tools next to me at the time so I just put in like my cuticle nippers my cuticle pusher just to give you guys an example and then if i had liquid in it i would just close it for the and let them soak for the recommended time based on the type of um disinfected liquid that i'm using <music> What I wanted to show you was that when you are inserting the tray back in, there are those little grooves just so that the tray has something to rest on. So you just want to make sure that you're placing it in properly like so. And then it is even because I think the first time that I was closing it to put it back in, I didn't. And then I couldn't figure out why it wasn't closing properly. So yeah, you just want to make sure to do that. So now I am going to go ahead and show you the Fusion Spring 2020 collection. I was so happy to get some more Fusion paints, especially after the green one that I tried. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you some of the colors here. I'll be starting off with Blue 101. This is so pretty, guys. This is so beautiful. I can't wait to try this and use this polish. It is stunning. <music> This one I'm sharing now is Neutral 104. This is so, so pretty. It does, to me, have more of a peachy undertone, but I'm not really a neutral person. But for some reason, I am liking this one now that I'm seeing it in the jar. So we'll see how that goes. I just realized I forgot to mention it is a six-piece collection, if you didn't already know that. But yes, it is a six-piece collection, and these polishes can be either embedded or applied on top of a finished file nail. So this is Pink 111, such a delicate and pretty pink, especially for springtime. <laughs> okay guys, so there's two purples in this collection, and I am so stoked about that like i am so happy i you guys don't even know and this look at this guys this color makes me so happy i just cannot i can't i can't even formulate the correct words to express how excited i am about this color it is so beautiful <laughs> So 
So this is the other purple. This is purple 109. How often do you get two purples in a collection? Do you know how exciting this is to me? This is such a stunning lilac. It actually rem reminds me of my dress that I wore to prom. So this is like very pretty. My mom, I'm going to show this to my mom and she's going to be like, yep, that matches the exact color of your prom dress. And lastly, we have Teal 108. This, guys, oh, this is so pretty. A lot of the teals that I have seen or like from just your regular nail polish, not gel polishes that I have, they lean more to the blue side of the teal family, but this one leans more on the green side. I am so excited to give this a try. It is so, so pretty so beautiful i feel like my mom would really love this color as well and the last thing that i have to share with you from this mini haul is actually this super cute uh nail scrubber brush that i purchased along with everything else so when it did arrive it came in this super cute um receivable reusable though you know little ziplock bags and basically it has very soft bristles and i actually found out about this brush from one of talia from talia's nail tales videos i will also link her social media down below you should check her out she's extremely talented and she always has some really good videos especially organization ones these bristles guys are so soft they're just so delicate i love how super smooth they feel especially when i was running my hand over it it was really good so as you can see it is a bigger brush but even though it like it's not weird to hold it in your hand i know some of you may look at it and say huh that's really big and it may feel uncomfortable but like it actually doesn't feel that weird to hold in your hand and it is super super lightweight I am in love with these bristles like I just I can't stop running my hands over them they're so so soft so we're just gonna pretend that I'm cleaning my nails and it is so smooth against my skin I absolutely love it like I am head over heels for these bristles honestly and that's it for my mini haul from Creative Beauty. What did you think? Is there anything in here that you liked for yourself that you would think about getting for yourself? Also, keep an eye out for my Fusion Spring 2020 review. I should have that up sometime this week, hopefully. I'm thinking maybe Friday, so fingers crossed. As always, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me and tuning into my channel. Please do thumbs up or thumbs down if you liked or disliked my video. And do follow me on my social media links as well as subscribe to my youtube channel so you'll be notified of when i post more content and videos and as always guys stay glamorous